Here and now, let's get this straight. Boogaloo, baby! I made it me. I met Alan Kaufman of Shibumi Farm about three years ago when he came in with a bag of mushrooms for me to try. And so I thought, well, we've got some mushrooms. Why don't we bring some into Brother's Moon? There's 30 other restaurants right around me, but for whatever reason, it struck me that Will would be the perfect test subject as to whether or not we could sell our mushrooms. I immediately stuck my head in the bag and took a big sniff, and we immediately became friends. He knew I was a guy that could be trusted with his mushrooms at that point. And just looked at me and said, I'll take them, bring more next week. I like cooking with mushrooms because of the flavor, the aroma, they're beautiful. So when we cook them, there's a, there's a huge amount of aroma that comes out of each different mushroom. They all have different scents to them. I like mushrooms, and to be honest with you, when people ask that question, why do you do this? I think the best and most honest answer is that the mushrooms chose me. Um, because they don't grow for everybody. Um, and they did, even though early on I can't say that I knew very much about what I was doing, but. Uh, I got the rewards of growing these, these things and uh, eating them, enjoying them and sharing with friends and that encouraged me to keep on going. Saute and boil and braise and fry the mushrooms. We use them in breakfast dishes like omelets. We use them in the soup as a stock. We'll make a stock and use the mushrooms as a stock. We'll cut the mushrooms up and add them to soups. Add them to braised dishes like our braised lamb shank or some short ribs. I grow a lot of different kinds, but mostly my interest is in mushrooms uh, that are both delicious and gourmet in their uh, taste or texture, but also possess interesting and unique medicinal properties. They taste great and they're good for you. I also tend to be attracted to species that no one else has ever grown before um, because I find it fascinating to unlock the secrets of how to grow them in um, a laboratory or in a greenhouse environment as opposed to um, just finding them in the woods.